calm down cause he just wanna learn son so I teach him son I am the one that teach Call me 10 10 wins in 20 You know there's a lot of people that probably don't come into my chat because of you guys and what you guys do is you you make whatever you make wherever you go almost toxic for people that would like to just come in and have a conversation this is why people don't like all of you trolls because what you do is you make it a toxic environment where people who would who are sensitive about their their position you know learning all this information you know you make it very difficult for them to even enter into the conversation and what you do is you keep people dumb by not allowing them into the conversation because you're so crass and rude and disrespectful. You know, there may come a time when I'm just going to get rid of all of you, just so you know, because I really want to open this conversation to more of the kinder, gentler people that do exist out here. And I think uh, for those of you out here who just, you know, make jokes and talk shit to people and all the rest of it, like, I get it. Like, I think it's funny and I can crack up with it. But there gets to a certain point where it's like, being around you people sucks like we don't nobody wants to be around you people you know what i mean you're a bane on the earth and you're nothing but problems even for your children most likely your children probably hate you because it's so difficult to be around you and you need to be told this that's probably why i even let you suckers in because you need to hear the rebuke you know and if you don't accept this you know this rebuke and you don't adhere to anything that's said, you know what I mean? Then the point is, is that now you're just in my fucking way. And the thing is, is that there's enough of people waking up that you're going to get run over by, you know, somehow in any of this. It's going to be like intellectually, you will be ejected from the conversation because you are meaningless. You provide no value. You even hate each other. That's the craziest part. There's no unity, you know? You tarnish whatever you touch. Anything you touch turns to turns to ash because you 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 destroy your energy is so disgusting and vile. You know that it's there. When, there may come a time when I won't put up with any of you anymore. You know why you guys just suck. You think you know everything. You think you got it all figured out, and you have no respect. For people you know and so like for out of respect to the people that maybe listen to this show that don't want anything to do with you fucking people you know you you know ugh, you're just annoying it's just it's like it sucks the energy right out of any conversation at any point and you probably wouldn't say shit to anyone in front of their face you're probably the lowliest forms of cowards on creation and you scare women and, and you scare young people who want to come into this conversation, you vile sacks of shit. You know, somebody's got to tell it to you because obviously your parents haven't. You know, it's like, these are the people whose parents failed them. Latchkey little internet fucking fags. Pardon me for saying that about, you know, gay people or not even, it's not about gay people. Fags are pieces of wood that need to be burned on the fire. Are you trying to start a witch hunt? No, I just see witches. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not hunting them. I'm just calling them out. You know, the good look. Remember, my angels kill your demons. Well said. Yo, Rebel. Hey, Rebel. You're one of the most toxic fucking people out here on Flat Earth. Straight up. Suck it up, girl. Go on, brother. Straight up. Everyone knows it, Rebel. You're one of the most toxic people on Flat Earth. You divider. You sow nothing but discord between people. Stop. You're the most, you're one of the more toxic, vile people I've ever fucking heard of. Don't you want to call me vile? You know nothing about it. All you do is swim in putridness. Forgive me, but more fire. That just happened. Yeah. I don't like a lot of people out here. I'm going to start making it known. You know, this is kind of why I like, yo, I don't want to go meet none of y'all motherfuckers. Because I want to be honest and keep my distance. Make sure I got the critique on your ass. Gonna try to set me up somewhere, you fucking agents. Yeah, buddy. No, cigar face. I'm not humble, dude. I'm not. I'm not nice. I'm not polite. 
you know, forgive me for being not polite. Forgive me for being a total asshole. You know, forgive me. But I'd probably, you know what I mean? Like, you probably wouldn't say shit to me in front of my face. How about that? You probably are a keyboard warrior fucking cuck. You know, because that's what it looks like. Yeah, I'm not right in the head if you don't want, if you want to look at it like that. Sure, I'm fucking crazy. I'm fucking crazier than probably every one of you sad fucks. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I get it. I get the rage. I get the we do not consent sell my book thing. But the point is, is that I'm not going to fucking be, I can't sit down and let it go anymore because there's too many of you fucks that enter my fucking personal space in the real world. So hopefully through some emanation of the ether that fucking these dipshits that I live around will catch wind of this fucking podcast or somebody that listens to it and will be corrected so that I no longer have to shoulder check fucking these metrosexual dipshit limp wristed drunks that make up the fucking mass of my fucking society here.